Friday, <laughs> hey, praise God for you guys being with us all week and uh, walking in favor, expecting favor, pursuing favor, uh, requesting favor, celebrating favor. You know, uh, yesterday's lesson, I ended you guys with, with Joseph, you know, and, and uh, we were laughing and talking about this thing about how Joseph, you know, in favor, actually received an assigned wife, okay, an assigned wife. Isn't that something? That in favor, God has things that are assigned to you that you're not even expecting, you know, when you walk in that, that season of favor. And so this is what it, it means to get to a place where we know that God's favor is on us. It, it's, it's God's divine will for us to have success. So he assigns favor to us in our assignments. I can tell you right now, there have been many people, as I thank you guys and many people always on this broadcast, that I know from the day the Lord called me to, to preach his word, that there have been many people assigned to me, favor, that's assigned to help me in different seasons of life and different things and melatones of things when we're going through this and going through that and going to this and coming from that, that God has assigned to help in those things. So don't ever forget that there are going to always be people. We may talk about this one day. Not this morning, though, but there are always people that are around you uh, for for the favors, you know, and I could name a lot of great people that have helped us over the years, uh, you know, uh, but you're going to need those people in your assignment. So, so always expect God to do, you know, who he is, all right? That's abundantly above all that you could ask or think, all right? This morning, we're going to talk about uh, celebrating favor. Uh, this is uh, three words that you need to write down. Again, as we said, you must pursue, all right? You must request, and you must celebrate favor, okay? God always deals with us in threes, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, you know, spirit, soul, body, all kinds of things. God lived in a three-room house, you know, the outer court, the holy place, and the holy place, the holy of places. You know, all through the Bible, he teaches us certain things about living. This morning in Hebrews chapter 11, here's something about uh, you celebrating uh, favor, okay? Here we go, Hebrews, and we're going to look at Job too. We might get to Job. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11. You guys there? I'm here. Here we are. All right. Now it talks about a lot of people here who through faith did a lot of things and they were favored by God. Okay. And uh, please understand that these, these, these are testimonies of favor, but we're going over here to Hebrews uh, chapter 11, verse six. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Okay, remember what Jesus said in Luke chapter 11, Luke 18, 1 through 8, when he's talking about the unjust judge and the just judge. And when he says, when the Son of Man comes on earth, shall he find faith? What kind of faith? The kind of faith that is determined that what you desire is going to be received. That's, that was the faith of the widow woman, okay? Uh, and it says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. So if I'm going to pursue and request and celebrate favor, I must know who God is. He's the giver of favor. I must know that he's the giver of favor. I must understand that he wants favor in my life. I must understand that, guess what? As a joint heir with Jesus Christ, that God has ordained favor on my life. Everywhere that I am, whatever I'm doing, if I'm walking in the righteousness of Almighty God every day, if I'm living the way, you know, that I should be living, as Paul said, awake unto righteousness and sin not. In other words, awake unto who you are and don't be who you're not. If I live like that, then guess what? God knows that I'm seeking him because I know who he is, okay? You must know who he is and not just know who he is, but that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if I know who God is and I know who I am and I'm diligently seeking the Lord, favor can't, can't, can't stay away from me. I may run in favor and get so used to running it that I don't even know when favor's coming because favor is just a, a natural part of our spiritual life, okay? That everywhere you go, somebody's doing something good for you. Or wherever you go, some door is opening up for you. Whoever you're doing this or whatever. Now, I'm not talking about people who don't know God and people who slander other people. and whatever. This is not, I'm telling you, God, don't do that for people like that. But I'm saying this to you guys this week. 
All right? It's time for you to celebrate. If you know that God, who God is and that he's a rewarder, then you should know. You should be celebrating right now. I know I'm going to get some favor today when I go to my job. They're going to give me a raise even if they don't want to give me one. They're going to give it to me because God want me to have it. Yeah, I know when I go to the doctor, I'm going to get God's report about this. They told me that this was going on. I came back and talked to Daddy God about it. The blood of Jesus spoke over my over whatever was going on in my infirmity because the life of the body is in the blood. So the blood of Jesus has testified that I should not be sick, that I by Jesus' stripes I'm healed. So when I go back and I go back, I know that they're going to give me a report that lines up with the word of God. Favor in many ways. We go to the book of Job real quick, okay? These eight minutes pass by so fast, man. It's like, wow, you know? But, you know, we're here to get it, to get it in the go, all right? All right, the book of Job, chapter 33. Come on me real quick. Yes, yes, yes. Verse 26. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. I said, what? Why? Because he's praying unto God. He knows God. He knows God's a reward of, the, of those who do. And he shall see his face with joy. That's celebration. Hey, for he will render unto man his righteousness. And this is what Paul was saying over in 1 Corinthians when he saw 15, when he told us, awake unto righteousness. Stop sleeping. Start celebrating who you are. Stop sleeping. Stop letting the world tell you that this ain't going to happen for you just because it's not happening for them. Stop letting them tell you all these things that, you know, prophesying all this stuff about, you know, how bad it is, how bad it is. Let me tell you something. It's going to get, as my grandfather used to say, it's going to get gooder and gooder for you as you stay in the Lord Jesus Christ. Awake unto righteousness. Again, 1 Corinthians 15, 34. Awake unto righteousness, who you are. And don't sin. That means don't be who you used to be. Stay away from who you used to be. Don't let people draw you back into who you used to be. Don't go to all those things that you used to do when you were in the world. You know, I've, I've seen Christian people, you know, that were leaders in church, but they're still tied to all these organizations in the world. Go back celebrating the world. Go back doing, that means that there's mixture and God ain't in no mixture. God's in his righteousness. And Paul tells us, celebrate it. Awake unto righteousness. You've been asleep. This is what favor is all about, to get you up, to get you on the right path. The way that the Lord came to Adam and he said, Adam, where are you? Because I gave you dominion. And dominion was for you to put things in order. And from where I'm looking, things ain't in order because you're hiding. <laughs> all right? And favor has come to help you do that. So I pray that what you've learned this week, that you'll celebrate it, be, get yourself in a word teaching church. You know, love the Lord God with all your heart. Love men and women, you know, and service the Lord God all the days of your life. But again, awake unto righteousness, all right, and sin not in Jesus' name. We'll see you uh, Monday morning, and may the Lord God bless you all this weekend. And the joy of the Lord be your strength every day. And you celebrate the favor that God has on your life because it's for you. It's to help you divinely. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Chastain Rock, signing off Friday morning. Praise the Lord. We'll see you Monday morning in Jesus' name. Amen.